the President of the Republic of Uganda. The Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting was officially opened by Queen Elizabeth at Buckingham Palace. Please stand for the arrival of members of the royal family, Her Majesty the Queen and His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales. Accompanying the Queen were her son, Prince Charles, her grandchildren, Prince Harry, Prince William and other members of the royal family. In attendance were 53 heads of state representing the Commonwealth nations. Among them, President Yoweri Museveni. God save In a highly unusual move, the Queen, who turns 92 on Saturday, made clear her thoughts on succession. It is my sincere wish that the Commonwealth will continue to offer stability and continuity for future generations, and will decide that one day the Prince of Wales should carry on the important work started by my father in 1949. The comments by the Queen are the first by the monarch to tactically address the issue of succession at what is widely regarded as her last heads of government meeting, since she no longer travels long distances. Mindful as always that this summit of Commonwealth leaders draws its mandate and authority from our member countries collectively, it gives me great pleasure to declare this meeting of the Commonwealth heads of government open. The heads of state will discuss the issue of succession at a leader's retreat on Friday at Windsor. Earlier, Prince Charles described the meeting as an opportunity to give the Commonwealth a renewed relevance to all its citizens. And I pray that this Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting will not only revitalize the bonds between our countries, but will also give the Commonwealth a renewed relevance to, its, to all its citizens finding practical solutions to their problems and giving life to their aspirations. Addressing the summit, UK Prime Minister Theresa May paid tribute to the Queen for her service as head of the Commonwealth over many decades. I want to offer my heartfelt thanks to Your Majesty, head of the Commonwealth. This week, you have opened your homes to us here in London and in Windsor. Over many years, you have been the Commonwealth's most steadfast and fervent champion. You have been true to the deepest values of the Commonwealth, that the voice of the smallest member country is worth precisely as much as that of the largest, that the wealthiest and the most vulnerable stand shoulder to shoulder. You have seen us through some of our most serious challenges, and we commit to sustaining this Commonwealth, which you have so carefully nurtured. Also to be discussed at the two-day summit is climate change, cybersecurity and trade between the countries. It is the first time the UK has hosted the summit since 1997. The next biannual summit will take place in Malaysia.